Hey church, welcome back to day four of our devotional journey into Barmy Bible stories, looking from Acts 20 verses 7 to 11 in, at the story of Paul and Eutychus. Let me recap for you. My name is Darren, one of the pastors here at Audacious Church, and Acts 20 Verse 7 to 11 says this, On the first day of the week, we came together to break bread. Paul spoke to the people, and because he intended to leave the next day, kept on talking until midnight. There were many lamps in the upstairs rooms where he where they were meeting. Seated in a window was a young man called Eutychus, who was sinking into a deep sleep as Paul talked on and on. When he was sound asleep, he fell to the ground from the third story and was picked up dead. Paul went down, threw himself on the young man and put his arms around him. Don't be alarmed, he said. He's alive. Then he went upstairs again and broke bread and ate. After talking until daylight, he left. The people took the young man home alive and were greatly comforted. That's This is day four of our devotional journey looking at Barmy Bible stories. The events, the moments that seem implausible, incredible, mad, crazy or a Marvel movie moment that actually happened in, in the Bible. They make us laugh, cry, and ask why. But what we know is that they happen, and God has a story of glory behind them, in them, and through them. We've been looking at the story of Eutychus, who fell asleep in a sermon. He was sound asleep that he fell from the third story, uh, from where he was sitting, and died. We've looked at the first step of what to do in a crisis is to stop. The second step of what to do in a crisis is a double whammy of taking the initiative, responsibility, um, and think outside the box. The, the third step that we looked at yesterday was adopt the language of faith. And today's step is huddle up. It says that Paul, after Paul had laid on the boy, he went upstairs again and broke bread and ate. The last thing you want to be doing in a crisis or you want to be in a crisis is alone. Having the right people around you is crucial. Not just anybody, but people who speak faith, friends who encourage you, support you, and at times hold you up. The Bible speaks several times of how two are better than one and how one can put a thousand to flight, but two can put 10,000 to flight. It also says, woe to the one who falls and has no one to help them uh, or pick them up. We need people in our lives who can put a thousand to flight, who are there to help us and pick us up. Those who can speak faith when we have nothing to say. Pray today that God will bring those people in your life. If you already have those people, thank God for them. Thank God for those friends, those relationships in your life. So two things today as we as we look to huddle up is to pray for those friends in your life and to thank God for those friends in your life. Have a great day, church, and I will see you tomorrow for day five of Barmy Bible Stories, Paul and Eutychus.